Oh, man, I forgot that maintenance was closed on Fridays. What would our last ride be without one more bureaucratic snafu? Don't worry, boo-boo. Tommy will solve this problem, no sweat. Can I just say, Tom, you have accomplished so much. You have come so far. Now you're so successful. Don't forget well-dressed. Yes, and well-dressed. I am so very proud of you. Thanks, Leslie. I'm proud of me, too. Nice crewman, buddy. Uh, the gentleman by the bar there sent you over this glass of wine and his business card. Okay, so, as you all know, Tom's Bistro has been presented with a huge expansion opportunity. I don't want to make a decision until I hear from my senior advisory board, so is this a good idea? Accounting nerd. I'm a congressman, Tom. Can you at least call me Ben? No can do, accounting nerd. We all knew you before you were a big shot. Let's keep the whining to a minimum. Well, there are always going to be risks when you open new restaurants, but you've done your homework. All the numbers line up. Side note, I would, again, strongly recommend adding calzones to the menu. Ugh, the worst. Ron? Well, it's a bold capitalistic gambit, son, but nothing ventured, nothing gained. Regal Meagle? Real estate is pretty cheap right now. If you're going to do it, this is a good time. OK, I'm doing it. Over the next five years, there's gonna be 20 Tom's Bistros across America. Look out, world. Tommy's about to blow up. And blow up he did, but not in a good way. He lost everything. Today, Tom Haverford is broke, destitute, and worst of all, swaggerless. Tommy, you gotta stop watching this. I can't tear myself away. It's a whole documentary about my failures. That you made. I had to. I have to remember every tiny, awful aspect of this. I lost everything, Lucy. The franchises, most of my money. I had to sell my pocket square collection. Oh, what are people's eyes gonna be drawn to? Look, you had a tough break. The stock market tanked, credit dried up. Who could have predicted that the country would run out of beef? You just gotta move on. That's the problem, though. I've gone bust in the past, but it was because I did something reckless. This time, I was smart and careful, and I still went broke. What do I do now? Well, you and I are gonna be fine, and... You'll come up with a new idea. You always do. I once started an entertainment company. It failed in four months. I opened a clothing rental store. I built a restaurant empire. They all failed. But the story of America isn't about second or third chances. It's about fourth, fifth, sixth, 20th, 50th chances. That's how long it took me to get where I am today. Best-selling author of Failure, an American success story. As you know, if you've read the book, I've outlined seven different types of successful people. You can be an Andy, an April, a Ben, a Leslie, a Ron, a Donna, or my personal favorite, a Tom. But what do we definitely not want to be? A Gary! That's right. Do not be a Gary. <laughs> He's talking about me. Hey. Hey, thanks so much for coming, guys. Are you kidding, Tom? This is incredible. Best-selling book, a 40-city tour. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. Well, the book's called Failure. I don't know how to take that. I'm serious. You guys have always supported me. Here, I inscribed you a copy. When I think of success, I think of you. You are a true inspiration to me. I love you. Tom Haverford. Oh, sorry. That's actually for Kendrick Lamar. Here's yours. Best wishes. I mean every word of it.